Many customers ask me how difficult it is to create your own managed dashboards using Design Studio. Uh, my name is Ivo van der Zand, I work for Business Analytics SAP. And on the screen you see my Design Studio version 1.5 started. And to create a simpler application, I take the Create Analysis application. And uh, of course I give it a name, Demo for You, or something. The description and I tick next and on the screen you see that Design Studio 1.5 comes off the shelf with a number of templates that make the creation for a simple dashboard for you quite easy um, so all these templates come off the shelf the lowest two are my own templates I will show you later on how you can create your own and um, just to give you an impression I tick the data discovery and visualization template and tick finish and you will see that Design Studio starts to create uh, the first uh, dashboarding application. And on my left hand side you see over here in data sources that there is no data source assigned yet. So um, I can either assign one or I can just start the application. And when I start it, it will ask me to set up a connection. So I go to uh, a little HANA instance I have for myself. So I take that one, I take next. And I go to folders and look for my HANA instance uh, that is uh, listed over here. It's an internal SAP instance with uh, some data. So it pops up to uh, ask me the password to the, uh, to the HANA system. And um, the folders will load right now. So I scroll down to my own folder. Uh, it's over here. And I tick uh, the finance tab, which has some financial data that I loaded. Very simple data. And over here my um, first dashboard starts populating and will pop up on the screen immediately. Here you see it, if I uh, make my screen a bit bigger, I can uh, tick the measures button and uh, start uh, uh, using my metrics, uh, for example, per year. Just drag and drop it. And over here is your very first simple dashboard that you created. And uh, you can, of course, uh, create your charts like you want it. Um, so this is uh, using a template, it's two clicks to start your own dashboard. Well, if we go a little bit more advanced, um, I created some applications for you to demo where I used those templates. So let me um, open up one of the applications that I'd like to share with you. Um, for example, I could use uh, this one, which is... Um, I'm going to take this one. If I open that up, that is a template which I used, the data discovery template, so the same one as the previous, that I slightly adjusted. You see that I have over here um, two, uh, two data sources which I assigned to these areas. I created two additional tab strips, so off the shelf is the visual and the compose tab that comes with the template. I created two of them, and if I run this application, that looks like uh, the following. So uh, it has uh, some uh, self-service capabilities in there. So I again need to select the connection, which I will do. Oops, highlight it. And here you see a very simple application that I created. Uh, so I have a number of metrics over here. Uh, so I uh, filter the metrics only actual and year um, and, and, uh, and past year. Um, as you can see, a little bit Lumira type of way you can create your own visualization. So if I tick the plus button, uh, I can create my own visualizations and just drag and drop uh, the data that I'm interested in, in um, for example, the quarter. Yeah, so metrics per quarter. And the data. Here it is. Um, with the Compose tab, I can, a little bit Lumira-like, create my own little story. So the visualizations that I just created, I can drag and drop them to my screen uh, and uh, create, create a simple dashboard, export it to Excel, if I uh, to PDF or share it. Well, the additional tab strip is something I quickly created myself by just, um, and I will show you the design, just dragging a chart to the tab strip. And over here, I used one of the Geo um, uh, analytical objects and created two layers to, um, to have the geodata reflected. 
If you look at the design, then you see over here again, I use two data sources. And over here you see my first tab strip that applies to the visualize section. And if I scroll down, <coughs> then you see a second, uh, 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 the other tab strips are over here. Over here you have, for example, the geo tab strip yeah, that applies to this section where I just dragged and dropped um, this analytical component over here the um, the uh, the geo component uh, over here it is and um, just dragged it to the um, to the uh, to the working area and uh, I applied um, the uh, properties over here on my left hand side so again this is used creating a uh, using a template very easy another application that I'd like to show you that um, is something I also created uh, quite uh, easily is uh, the following one so it is about a uh, KPI tree that you find over here that is uh, using the uh, KPI tree template that you saw when I opened the application um, again I used a number um, of the following so I uh, used one data source that I every time you can copy a data source and uh, if I click over here I can paste it and uh, you can adjust the data source by uh, added the initial view for example so the initial view of data source one is like this uh, I can change those metrics to um, for example I can drag and drop these ones out so let me take some other metrics for example on order backlog um, I okay that so data source 6 is now related to order backlog and imagine that I um, want this section to have a look at other data uh, I dragged and dropped a chart component in there as you can see over here so I dragged and dropped this component over here to that area and uh, as type I used radar and as source I ticked DS5 well I can change that easily let's say well six so it now changes the source well you see that th this doesn't uh, make a lot of sense so I might want to change the way the chart or something else in a uh, a line chart to uh, choose another one. the line chart over here yeah so um, so this is um, um, just a KPI tree overview where in the different tiles uh, that are empty when you use the template I just dragged and dropped a number of those metrics and if I run this application you can quite easily see that um, that I already created and this took me around 14 minutes a little template uh, managed dashboard using Design Studio here it is yeah um, you can easily for example in this one and I didn't apply it yet but you can easily create a detail so if I tick it yeah it goes to the detail tab which is embedded in the template and which you can fill with uh, more detailed uh, information if you wish. Yeah, so this is uh, off the shelf, this template um, comes with uh, uh, Lumina. I uh, show you um, some capabilities about uh, exporting data towards uh, Lumira. Um, so I open up a sample application and uh, what you see that I created on this one is a very simple dashboard. Um, is the following if I scroll to the right you see that I used um, these buttons over here the these buttons to do some um, some special features so I dragged and dropped the button and uh, over here I gave it a name export to Lumira and uh, very important is this one if I take the on click event if you use for example this kind of code so data source export type which is an embedded code Lumira lumps it uses the current data set and exports it to Lumira immediately. Um, so this is the script editor which works via the, uh, as you can see over here, control and space section. If I tap control space like I do right now, you see that it's more or less uh, an automatic, uh, an, a, a type of scripting that uh, w which guides you uh, with these specific object types that you can use. Um, so you can't basically script in the wrong way. Um, so, oops, tap over here. So this one uh, is an example of uh, a little coding that you do to export to Lumira. Over here, you see another example is to uh, make a print button, for example, 
for which I used uh, this kind of coding just to give you an idea that uh, it's just a print command uh, that it's not too difficult to do it so if I run this one um, you will see that uh, it uh, will connect to the data again and uh, over here you see this dashboard where this has some uh, it's very a, a very simple dashboard but if you it has some actuals if I tick a country you will see that the metrics below me are changing yeah, so the see it over here happening also these ones are changing so depending on the country that I take I get information regarding uh, Poland or for example over here France and you see all the data is changing to France if I take the export to the mirror button you will see that I get a pop-up to uh, save a, a, a mirror export file that you can use in the mirror or if I take the print button uh, you will see that it automatically starts printing Thanks for your attention. I hope you agree with me that creating a very simple dashboard in the Mira is not that uh, in Design Studio, excuse me, is not that.